Oh, hi. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Drew from Tri-City Scuba Center, and today we're going to answer one of those questions that we get asked every day in the store. What does it take to be a diver? What do I have to do? Say you're not a scuba diver or you're just an open water diver and you're wondering, what do I need to do in order to get the most out of being a diver here in Canada? We're pretty unique here in Canada, uh, especially in Southern Ontario, because we have lots of different types of diving. Uh, we have some of the best freshwater wreck diving in the world. I'll say probably the best freshwater diving in the world. Uh, we need to compare Tobermory and Brockville and all the other places around here that we take trips to. So in order to get there from here, what do we do? Well, as I mentioned, open water diver is the for beginning. This is the start of your journey. This is where you get some of the basic dive skills that are required to be able to be a scuba diver. It takes you down to about 60 feet and you get all the basics. And people say, oh, is that all I need? I say, no, that's not all I need. Because you want to be able to dive 12 months of the year here in Canada. Or maybe you want to go to Silfra and dive between the tectonic plates between Europe and North America or the kelp forests in British Columbia. Dry suit is a course that we teach a lot of here at Tri-City Scuba because we believe in a 12-month dive season. You want to come up with us to Tobermory next winter and maybe get underneath the ice and see what that's all about? Dry is the way to go because otherwise you freeze your butt off and that's not fun, especially at 100 feet in Tobermory. If you've been in the engine room of the Niagara 2 ever, you know that a dry suit's the only way to go. Once you've got your dry suit course, now you have all of the basics and all of the basic bits of equipment because you're managing different air spaces in your BCD and in your dry suit. Peak Performance Buoyancy is the course that takes all of the basic skills for maintaining neutral buoyancy and builds on them. It gives you the tools, ways of calculating weight, distributing that weight around your scuba unit so that you'll be really comfortable underwater. Now you've got all the basics to get you going. Where do we go from there? Well, most commonly, most of our divers will take the Advanced Open Water Diver course. Why? Well, this one's, about, uh, this one's about diving, so there's not really any classroom. We do some knowledge reviews, you're certified to 100 feet, and you get exposed to five PADI specialties, five of the most common ones. Uh, two prerequisite are the deep diver specialty, uh, adventure dive, which takes you to 100 feet, and also underwater navigator, because if you're going down, you want to be able to come back up, but not just coming back up, where are you going? Well, Underwater Navigator helps you with that. From there, we'll take you to the Enriched Air Course. Now, this is a non-diving specialty, and the nice thing about this is you can breathe higher percentages of oxygen, it gives you longer bottom times, and anecdotally, you feel better after a multiple dive day by breathing higher percentages of oxygen. From there, we say, well, we've got all these skills, why don't we go a little bit deeper? With the Deep Diver Specialty, you can get certified to the maximum recreational depth of 130 feet. Why would we want to do that? Because here in Canada, we have some fantastic shipwrecks, and some parts of those wrecks are deeper than 100 feet. You want to get to the boiler of the, uh, of the forest city and see the engine and all of those things. Uh, you want to dive the, the Arabia. You want to dive some of these fantastic shipwrecks. Uh, you'll be able to do that with the deep diver specialty. And since we mentioned shipwrecks, why not take the, the uh, wreck diver course? You'll learn all the ins and outs of, of diving a shipwreck. You go down, you can, um, you can map them. You can see points of interest, entries and exits. You can penetrate a shipwreck. You can do all of these great things. And obviously, you're gonna, when you come up, you're going to map it. And you'll tell people, oh, avoid that area. There's some sharp pieces of hull to watch out for. So we definitely believe in wreck diving because there's some fantastic shipwrecks around here. From there, a lot of divers will go up to the rescue diver. You'll notice that uh, if you can imagine your dive training as concentric circles, like, uh, like concentric circles. So open water diver is in the middle of that. It's like the bullseye of that concentric circle. That's where you learn the very basic skills. You expand your skills out. You also expand your awareness of what's going on in your environment and around you. And that's the advanced open water course. Once you get to rescue diver, you now have enough skills with all of these courses that you're becoming a fairly competent and advanced diver. Rescue Diver allows you to help other divers um, by watching somebody on the boat. Maybe their personality changes once they start thinking about doing a deep, dark, cold dive. Well, you can help them before a problem ever does occur. But if something does happen underwater, as a trained rescue diver, of course, you can resolve that and you can help people out. So you, you now be able, you're now able to help your, your fellow divers. And in conjunction with the rescue diver, emergency first response. Uh, great first aid course, fantastic material. Uh, we teach them there. And after that, maybe you want to go pro and become a dive master. Maybe you want to get the Patty Master Scuba Diver certification, which is five specialties and 50 dives. And if you get to the point where you hit rescue diver with the courses that we've prescribed to you, 
you can get your master scuba diver certification. That was my goal when I became a diver and I very proudly got that before I became a dive master. From there, they're the professional level courses. Dive master, assistant instructor, open water scuba instructor, and on and on and on and on. We can help you get there. So give us a call, drop us a line, and come on into the store and say hi. Thanks for watching. Yeah.